guys, how are you guys doing? My name is Vishwatan and welcome to my channel. Now I'm at Echo Chiraz with my best friend Dashan and uh, we came here for two different reasons. He came here to look for a job and I came here for a project based job uh, but turns out I didn't really like it so I just walked out of it and uh, I wanted to do something that I like. That's when I realized that GIC Echo Chiraz, the cinema is open so I wanted to watch a film and give you guys an instant review. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's get to it. So now before we go for the movie, uh, I'm helping my friend out because he's looking for a job. He just graduated and um, I mean he completed his studies but he haven't graduated yet. So we're just going everywhere and looking for a job. Uh, bang, ada vacancy tak? Vacancy tak ada. Seems they don't have vacancy here so let's just go inform him and let's see what is the response he's getting in 7-11. And Old Town White Coffee. And bacon see Leander. Think I'd be Old Town White Coffee. Kadeh is satu. Kadeh is satu orang lah. Bacon see lah. Where are you? Where are you? See that first time I go to Charles, I went to India. Come on. Ah, India. Come on. 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 Alright, so now my friend is heading back home and now we are going to the cinemas. Alright guys, so there's a few movies, few new movies that are out. Uh, and I think I'm going to go for this one, Jack in the Box. Next show is at 6.10. Yeah, hall is empty. Oh, four people are there. This is empty seats, like reserved seats. This is not. No, it's a customer. It's a customer. It's a customer. Okay, okay. Is that a small hall? Yeah, it's a small hall. Okay, okay. Thank you. It's been a while since I last came back here to this GSC. I think this is the second time ever that I'm coming here to watch a film. I'm looking forward to it. The movie is at 6.10 and... Uh, oh, now sitting. I think we can go in already. Can you tell me? Can Jack in the box? Yes, can you tell Okay. Hi, thank you. Hi. Now we are at hall 2. The so hall 2 is this side. Oh, it's a small hall. I think they only have... Oh, they have 8 halls in total. I like the concept, how they did the numbers. Seat number C10. C10 is this side. Wow, looks like I'm the first one in. C10. The concept is like one seat, a gap, and another seat. C10. Yep, this is our seat. <sighs> home sweet home. <laughs> now, recording in the cinemas is prohibited, so I think I'm going to stop here and uh, I'll let you guys know how the movie went after it's over, right? Catch you later. Alright guys, so the movie just ended and I am heading out from the cinema waiting to give you your review that you were waiting for. Okay, so now I am at Starbucks. Now before I start my review, I have to give you guys a warning note. Uh, I am in Starbucks, so uh, this place is noisy. This is the least noisiest place among the other places that I have been uh, earlier. But it's still noisy, so I suggest you guys to use your ear earphones or headset while listening to this uh, review because I'm just using my phone to record in an open space. So, yeah. 
for your information guys i have not done any background homework and research on this film because it was my instant decision to watch this film and give you guys an instant review so i'm not going to get into who is the director what was his previous projects who were the cast and crew and how long did they take to you know make this film so let's get into the review okay so where should i start actually mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, there's one thing I was very curious after I watched this film. Okay, after I watched this film, I wanted to know what uh, the critics, what the people who already watched this film, what were their opinion on the film. So I checked the IMDb uh, score and I checked uh, Rotten Tomato, and IMDb only gave 3.9 out of 10, and Rotten Tomato was only 20%. So that shows uh, clearly how bad the movie was. Now I'm sure the director had a really great vision before jumping into production, but once he got in, he did overlook a certain practice which made the movie a little sloppy. So one of it, the, the first and the foremost uh, part of the film being sloppy is the acting. There's no denying that. Now I'm sure you guys would agree with me, when anyone encounters a demon, they would be terrified to the max. But there are characters in this film who are really pretty cool. That was one thing that I really hate about the film. Second of all, the overacting. Oh my god. Like, let me give you an example. If anyone injures your face, will you give a performance of as though like your whole body was bashed up badly you had to crawl on the ground until you, you reach a certain area well that was what certain actors from this film did and I couldn't bear to watch that I was like dude what are you doing <laughs> that was how I felt and to top it all off the main character the main character of the film Jack in the Box the performance of the demon was literally mm, the acting was really bad like trust me guys the acting was really bad and I, I felt like you don't need a jack-in-the-box to perform for that scene you could just get some random psychopath to perform that scene that was how it was none of the performance of jack-in-the-box the demon was uh, convincing or like it wasn't age of the seat you you won't feel like as though a demon is attacking you you feel like some random psychopath some human being is just hitting you here and there that was how it was I really I felt like oh my god what am I watching you know I'm sure everyone uh, who loves thriller films and uh, horror films you guys would have watched uh, it and the performance of the clown Pennywise was the best after watching something like that this means nothing there was no uh, performance that uh, the clown Jack could give that will convince us but uh, I didn't I'm not saying that it's not I'm not saying it's uh, it's because the performance of Jack was not as as high as the standard of Pennywise the clown. It's extremely low until like you couldn't even give a realistic uh, a, an enjoyable performance. That was how it was, which was really really sad. And the second factor that affected this film was definitely the budget, because once I was watching the film since the beginning. Till the midpoint, I felt like, okay, this director knows what he's doing. Okay, right, he's good. Because every scene was like, cut to the chase, cut to the chase, cut to the chase. He didn't waste any time anywhere. Like, there was no dragging the story anywhere. But after reaching the midpoint, then I realized that, okay, this director did what he did because he didn't have the budget to do it in a bigger and better scale. Even the locations that they used for this movie was only a big house which they portrayed as an antique museum. And everything happens around this museum. That was how low-budgeted the film was. And to support that statement, the director only hired a minimum number of actors who basically played a character in this film and the one the characters that you can see often in this film is jack in the box the leading the lead role there was one there's a guy and um, a supporting heroine character so basically these three characters only these three characters you can see almost throughout the film now i'm not saying that low budget films are bad there are a lot of good low budget films example a quiet place but you need to do it right you know there are things that you shouldn't compromise on. The next factor that affected this movie was the special effect makeup. The special effect makeup looked so fake. Like basically all the bruises was just like like a grey coloured dust. It was so obvious that it, it didn't look real. And also the scratch marks on the face that you guys will see in the film. Uh, you can see the plastic layers shining on, this, on the surface of the skin. That is how bad the makeup was. And how it, it leads up to the budget of the film. The major drawback of the film is the budget. I feel like if the budget was high, the budget was, uh, they had maybe a substantial amount of budget, they would have done a really good job in the film. Now to top it all off, I wouldn't say that it's a bad, an extremely bad film. I would say like many part of the film was compromised and it could have been done better. So if you guys would really like to go and watch this film, I would suggest you to go and watch. But 
I would ask you not to keep your hopes high. That's all. Alright guys, so that's about it for my review today about the film. And I do leave a comment below regarding your opinion about the film. And also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And do follow me on Instagram if you guys want to know more about me, alright? So, thank you, good night.